right, here's how to make your own homemade Christmas light controller. Okay, here's what the schematic looks like for what's going on with my controller. The brain of it's an Arduino. You can either buy one or you can build your own. Either way it works just fine. But you have a digital pinout on there. You're going to go through this 1000 ohm uh, current limiting resistor. It's going to fire the base on this transistor allowing current to travel through a, a 5 volt control relay that I just robbed off an old... Uh, PLC 5 card, just desoldered it and used it, but those contacts weren't capable of very much current so then I ran into this card which is a piece of old analog excitation equipment for a big old generator and it had some 24 volt relays on it that could handle uh, 10 amps of current on its contacts. So I wanted to use those so I had to use this 5 volt control relay to fire that relay so then I had to come down here and take a go through a transformer, I had 28 on the secondary, went through a bridge rectifier here was the DC out. So here's those control relay one contacts. So when those close, it's going to fire that 24 volt control relay that can handle a lot more current. And uh, how I calculated this DC average power is 28, the effective voltage times 1.414 to give us our peak voltage. And then uh, minus 1.2, which is just the voltage drop of each diode, each half cycle. And then times 63.7%, which is just 2 divided by pi. I won't go into where that number comes from, but anyways, I came up with 24.46 volts in this circuit. So then once CR2 fires, its contacts will close here, passing 120 volts to the lights. So, there it is. So, taking a look at it up close, here is the Arduino. These are the digital pinouts going to this uh, printed circuit board that I made. Uh, each digital pinout is going to fire a transistor. Each relay has its own transistor here. There are eight relays. This is an eight channel controller. I did parallel a diode with each coil because uh, when that magnetic field collapses, I don't want to send any current back into the controller. So these guys are connected reverse bias to the applied uh, voltage coming from the controller. Then these guys are going to fire the 24 volt relays, which is then going to pass 120 volts into this junction box and down to all eight of my outputs and this is the 28 volt transformer with the bridge rectifier on the front giving me the power there so I'll go ahead and plug it in and you can just hear little tiny clicks that's the sound of the of these 5 volt relays um, triggering and I put a little switch down here you hear the contactor close and now my 24 volt relays are firing and I only have four channels plugged in eventually I'll have it all synced to music but for now I think I'm just gonna kinda have fun with it so there you go enjoy